Hey guys, got a new unboxing for you today. Um, it's uh, Philips. I don't even know what it is. Oh, DVP the five nine ninety. Um, just picked up a Best Buy for uh, sixty bucks, and uh, I got this because number one, my DVD player broke, so the tray won't open. I was using the Xbox as like a makeshift thing. DVD player, but uh, it won't up convert to uh, 720p, which is what the uh, LCD TV uh, I have. So this will up convert to up to 1080p. I'll, I only need 720p, and also this is DivX certified. And um, I download a lot of TV shows and, and then burn them to DVD as like data files. So I have like six or seven 700 meg files on a DVD and they won't play in the standard DVD player unless it's DivX certified like this one so I have like hundreds of DVDs that are just like stacked and I can't really watch them um, anywhere else but my computer and I can connect my laptop through VGA to my LCD TV but I have to you know, move around every time and you know I want to be able to like use my computer while I watch so yeah that's one of the reasons I got it um, I think there's a couple cool features it, you can uh rip from a uh, CD, rip music from a CD and put it on, transfer it onto a, a flash drive and this thing actually has a USB port, I don't know if you can see that I'll open it, but uh, yeah, this thing has a USB port so you can take a portable hard drive or a USB drive, just plug it in and the uh, thing will recognize I can play it straight from there, I don't even have to burn a DVD, so that's pretty cool and I can rip music to the flash drive if I really want to so that's pretty cool and uh, it also plays WMVs, DivX, XVID and it plays probably like every DVD out there possible, and there's an HDMI port, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it wasn't too uh, it wasn't too expensive, sixty bucks. I could have waited for uh, Best Buy to put it on sale, but uh, max probably fifty bucks, probably saving ten bucks off sixty, so not that big of a deal. So I picked that up. Um, see if there's anything else here. Oh wait, no, that's not in English. Yeah. See if there's anything in English. Uh, yeah, English. Let's see. Um, easy link for any easy control of connected devices via HDMI. Don't know what that is. And the USB thing that I was talking about before. So that's really, really convenient. You can connect a 500 gigabyte hard drive to this and have like a huge library of whatever movies you want just like at your house. So you don't have to buy an Apple TV, which is like I saw at best. I was like over 200 bucks. That's pretty rip off. And this thing plays DVDs. And also, um, it's like a technical thing, but this thing will recognize on a DVD or a flash drive 646 files or something like that. It's 648 files maximum and 300 folders. So, let's say a video file is 700 megs, times that by 646, whatever. Um, probably around 500 gigs there. So, a 500 gig hard drive would be good. I'll just be using my, uh, my, uh, A2. This is a Cohen A2. And uh, this thing is 30 gigs, I think. Yeah, this thing's 30 gigs, so I'll be use I can plug this in to uh, to watch whatever I want. And I also have a 4 gig flash drive I can put in there. And like I said, I have a bunch of ripped DVDs. So uh, I just spent like four minutes talking, and I'm actually gonna open it now for you guys. Uh, and um, I know you guys have a bunch of questions about the W580i. I'll be making a video soon. I've been, I'd say this every time, I'm sorry, but I've been busy with writing up a paper for, uh, for this thing called Intel. And, uh, yeah, I was being murdered by that, so I'm done with that now. Ouch, I almost killed myself there. Um, I'm done with that now, so I can probably make videos for you guys, whatever you want. I'll, ask, I'll, answer, I'll definitely answer questions about W580, but just so you guys know, I uh, I sold that to a friend a couple months ago, which I got for I sold for a good price and it was in excellent condition as well. I can still answer any questions you guys have. I mostly remember stuff about the phone, so I'll make put the camera. There. I'm being retarded. You guys can see a big Phillips logo there for a while. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Now, I was going to get an HDMI cable with this at Best Buy, but they're complete rip-offs, like, like 
40 bucks for like some no-name brand HDMI cable and like 120 bucks for a monster cable and I know for a fact that HDMI cables expensive or cheap is going to give the same picture quality because it's a digital signal unlike an analog cable where quality of the cable can be an issue um, so I got it opened there we go sorry about that um, here's what it looks like when you first get it Ta some warning need help fast no not really okay um, oh nice they give you batteries not not Duracell or Energizer, but it's cool. Still give you batteries. It's like a triple A. Um, there's random brand tree thingies in here for like no reason. Okay. Um, a bunch of books, product registration card. Actually, I'll open this up. So you guys can have a look. Oh yeah, and I really want to get a tripod. I'm sorry about that, guys. But they're way too expensive. At least where I can get them. I'll probably order one online pretty soon. Here's a setup guide. Setup, enjoy. I will, thanks. Thanks, yeah. Um, let me tell you, there's a component HDMI. It's like an optical audio connection. Not too many, actually. Okay. Product registration card, probably for the warranty. Return within 10 days. That's bad. Okay. I wouldn't know. Triple A batteries. User guide. Pretty thick user guide, actually. I don't know if it's going to be useful. It better be. Um, here's the remote. Oh, upside down. Sorry. Looks pretty repeat angle zoom. Menu. That looks pretty useful. It looks pretty boring, but looks functional. Oh, and I was right, they only include composite, which is totally useless for HD. I was hoping they'd include an HDMI cable, but oh well, I knew they wouldn't. I didn't expect much from a $60 DVD player. And here's the actual unit, which is wrapped up in styrofoam, which I will try to open for you guys. Oh, by the way, I, uh, there's a really good site where you can look reviews and specs for DVD player seat to place DivX and whatnot at uh, videohelp.com. That's a really helpful website. So the name is videohelp.com. <laughs> so yeah, check that site out if you're interested in DVD players. And Blu-rays, whatever. Might get PS3 for Blu-ray. Oh, I'm bad at this. Phones are easy to do one-handed. DVD players are not. Okay, here we go. Finally. Okay, here's the unit. It's a uh, pretty minimalist here, glossy black front. Um, USB port right there. Very, very convenient. Love that. And this is a uh, USB 2.0, by the way. I think the, um, the 5960 or the 5980 has a USB 1.1 port. And although people said, you know, you know, some people say, you know, they have no problem. Some people say their video goes jittery and blah, you know, just because it's USB 1, but this is USB 2, so it's pretty good. And the logo's on the top, it says HDMI, uh, DVD, Dolby Digital, DivX, USB, HD, JPEG, Energy Star, and uh, uh, plays Windows Media, Windows Media Video. So, and uh, let me just show the back, nothing on the sides really, show the back, it's very, very thin by the way. Um, it's so a composite video, component video, digital optical app. Oh no, it's not optical, it's coaxial. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, regular uh, stereo audio app. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll do a review on it as soon as I you know, get to use it with like, a bunch of different DVDs, a bunch of different formats, and I'll tell you guys more about it. And uh, it's only 60 bucks at Best Buy, so definitely worth a look if you don't want to pay like 200 bucks for an Apple TV, you want like a good, you want to watch your DivX video collection on your TV. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.